for real? Hello, 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 good afternoon! Hello, Toast Little Buns. How you doing? How is everyone doing? I'm back. <laughs> oh, it's been forever. Hi, has it been a whole ass month? Has it been one whole fucking month since I've streamed? <laughs> Yuma, hello, Fanto. How's it going? Welcome into the ads. Also forgot to eat lunch. I was working on things. I had been heavily busy. Heavily sick. Not the ad break. Lost count after the first week. I know. It was supposed to just be one week. Got sick again. And actually, I should tell this after after the ad break and once I get in I'm going to enjoy my taquitos it has been forever though so much has happened even Fig even Fig commented he was just like you hasn't streamed in over a month I I miss him <laughs> and I was like oh no I at least gotta go say hi now At that point, we were in the middle of a D&D session, so <laughs> we we took a we took a we took a, a a dinner break, and I went over to the stream and tried to watch a little bit, but it kept bugging out because I wasn't near my Wi-Fi. So, oh well, I have to get back to watching Fig streams. I miss them. I miss them so much. I miss that group. Hopefully, we get some of them coming in here today. And I was supposed to stream yesterday. And I knew Fig was probably going to stream yesterday too. But then Dawn wanted to go to... Wanted to go to Sioux Falls. And uh, get some things. And I was like, well... Can't pass up a trip like that. <laughs> so we ended up going there. However... Now that things are back in action, the ball is rolling. Hopefully we can keep the momentum going. Who knows? Mm. But hello and welcome. It is good to be back. Probably not going to play a game today. I'm still so very busy, so it's probably going to be a very short, just talking stream. I hope that's okay. We have plans in the works, though. If you um, have not seen... I'll reiterate this probably multiple times throughout stream. Um, I have changed my streaming schedule. I am falling behind on projects. So I will try to stream more um, during the weekend and have a work stream during the week. 
on a Wednesday, every other Wednesday that I have off. And then no more Monday streams. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Ugh. We'll get to Yuma being sick as well. Ah, yes. We're in. We're in. Hip hip hurrah. Hip hip hooray. Uh. What an interesting song to open up into, but yeah. Hello. Hi. I am your interdimensional cute boy, Yuma, here to give you love and support all the way through. Welcome back, everybody. I am glad to be back, at least. Um, so a lot has gone down. Gosh, let's recall. I have, uh, I have put so many updates in the, in the announcements. Let me just go back and uh, refer back to them. Well, that's YouTube. Why did it go to YouTube? I wanted to go to announcements. There we go. Um. Oh. Yeah. New redeems looking tasty. Oh man. Yeah. I was working. Okay. So before Valentine's Day, I was so ready to get into just like all the new stuff. That I had promised and whatnot. Like, finally fulfilling all my promises and stuff. I have new things for all of you. Look at redeems. Look at them beautiful redeems. I have I've modded a few of them for the sake of uh things. Um each of them oh one of them though. Oh, the change emote one does not have things but there are there are more expensive emotes now for those of you who are not vip status we now have the ability to use that there's cute sound has been completely updated <laughs> and in in its um in its replacement i have put uwu at such a very very low redeem so those who just want me to say uwu or kawaii sounds like those i think i gave you like three different things to choose from for that one if you just want those you can easily and cheaply make or be able to grab at those but then also on the 10th discord was completely overhauled <laughs> not overhauled revamped i think we moved into 3.0 yeah yeah we moved into 3.0 for discord and i i have now snuck in a little bits of lore <gasps> toast a little Buns! Thank you for four months. Whoa, you've been here for so long. Four months giving you monies. Love you. Love you too. Oh man, I love, I love, I love having you guys here. Gosh, it's so much fun. All like I've said before, I very much appreciate those of you who come in and just kind of like lurk around and don't don't chat very much. You guys are like true MVPs, <laughs> if anything. <gasps> Fanto ducks. I want a Fanto duck. Now that I think about it, I want just Fanto as a duck. Hello, welcome back, cutie. Oh man, it's been forever since I've I've talked to any of you. How was how was oh Fanto? How was Europe? How how did you enjoy your trip? I hope it was a fun trip. Also, Pinky, um, can I get a Fanto duck at some point? Just I don't know if it'll be a drawing or if it'll be like. Uh, an AI art thing. I just want Fanto as a duck. <laughs> I just want to see Fanto as a duck. Not as a cat. Not as a tiger. No tiger. Fanto duck. <laughs> um, but I've overhauled the Discord in a way. So if anybody really, really, really wants to look at the Discord, it's fun. So now lore stuff is going to be implemented. Um... Well, I said I was going to pick up on Monday that day as well. Oh, <laughs> she meant sucks. I know she meant sucks. <laughs> nah, uh No squabble. No suck. No duck. No none. Also, forgive me if my commentary is just poor today. I am... I have a slight headache still. I don't know why I have a headache. I just do. I woke up today and I was just like, uh, uh, 
know why my head hurt and it has not gone away since 8 o'clock. Okay, I gotta get off to play Raph with her or else she's gonna be upset with me. Speak with you later. Bye bye Enjoy Raft. I really need to get Raft. It looks so much fun. But the other thing is, is I need to play it with other people because it's only fun if you play it with other people. <laughs> um... There was also some health issues and stuff that came up. Uh, I got sick again for a whole week. I got you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll play Raft with you guys. I just have to buy Raft at that point, and then I got to figure out when you guys are playing, which should be relatively easy. I also need to get other people's Steam accounts so I can be friends with them. But, um, uh, my father usually gets sick around this time of the year, and then he also had surgery, actually. Was it? last week or earlier this week I don't know the days are blurring together so a little bit of a little bit of anxiety had come with that uh, pops is really old by the way he's he's retirement age he's over 65 so it whenever health things come up it's a, it's a bit of an issue and I get concerned um, but then I got sick I got I got RSV I got I got um respiratory virus thing so I was coughing and literally just hacking and dying for a good week I'm still doing it I, I had pressure on my chest that was just so painful and wouldn't go away at one point in time I had completely lost my voice so I didn't want to stream during that time either and then, you know, the whole coughing thing. Still have a little bit of it now, but it was... I could not just not cough for a whole week straight was my problem. It was awful. It was torture. <laughs> um, so then, for that whole week, I decided it's just like, I'm gonna just rest, I'm gonna sleep, I'm going to do whatever I need to. And then, and then mental illness came back and bit me in the ass. And I was like, alright, fine, I'll take a week to get my mind in the right place, to, to make sure that I'm doing okay mentally and that I'm not overworking myself and stuff. But that turned into a lot of other things too, because then I started working on other projects. Then I started getting busy with other things. Then we also started watching Fairy Tale a lot more. So I started hanging out with Dawn a lot more. <laughs> <coughs> and. I started neglecting a lot of my uh, chores and stuff. I wanted to play P3 with Fanto, but health things came up and then Fanto was gone for a whole week. Actually just came back this last week, I want to say. So didn't get it to play Fan er, didn't get to play Fanto. Didn't get to play P3 Reload with him yet, uh, yet again. We're hoping this Friday we might be able to align our schedules if the stars align. <laughs> Um, and be able to do a little bit more because I think we got to uh, Orpheus the awakening Not very much after that She has a gun. I don't know why that woman has a gun, but she has a gun <laughs> P3 is gonna be a fun game I was thinking about playing P4, but I think I'll play P4 on my own time and then once again new computer It's gonna be P5. We'll play Royal then we'll play strikers then we'll play Tactica again. We'll try to play Tactica I I don't know what happened with Tactica. It did. They fell off the boat with that one. That's not my favorite spin-off game they made yet. Um. Yeah, relative was sick. A lot has been happening lately. And I was trying to get back on the ball, but yeah, I was having a very tough time just getting back into the swing of things. Work was becoming even more demanding with the warm weather that we got up here in South Dakota. We had like a streak of warm weather, then it was cold, then it was warm, then it was cold. It was weird. So my deliveries and stuff that I do for pizza over at the gas station started getting very, um, very demanding. And people were ordering a lot more, so that started taking a lot more of my energy. I had to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Trying not to mess up orders as I was trying to take like five orders at a time which each each trip that I took um, and then Then our D&D group need wanted to meet up a little bit more. I'm not coming up with excuses. I'm just uh, Informing you guys of how busy I've been 
doing mental care, physical care, and <laughs> emotional care for others. <laughs> um, so D&D group, part of that emotional care, uh, also kind of part of what I want my future job to be, is they're helping me write my books right now. But I haven't even started writing any of the books either because I've so, been so busy with other things. <laughs> How dare you not tell me what time? I'm sorry, Aki. I didn't even know, to be completely honest. I wasn't even sure of what time I was going to come on. Because I was working on D&D stuff because we got session tomorrow. So I can't even stream tomorrow because they want to go super long. And I'm like, I don't know if I can even do that. <laughs> Hi Aki, how you doing? It's been forever, buddy. Also, I do want I do want to set up um um anime streaming in the Discord. Try and see if we can set up like an evening. Even if I'm not there, I want it to be like a normal thing for people to be able to go in and watch anime and just like if you are able to like want to set up a good schedule for that, I may okay with that. We'll run through a few things and stuff. Yep, lol. I got Val, so I have been playing uh, a lot there. Oh, oh, I need to get into shooter games. I have not. I've seen Valorant, never played it. The only game I've played that is a shooter-based game is a, a Call of Duty of some sort. We played it when we went to Idaho for a church trip, and that's about it. <laughs> I've not played any other shooter games. I really suck at them. Didn't have, like, Xbox growing up either, so didn't really have that, um, ability to, like, leap into it. And didn't have a PC either until, well, recently, so. If you do get it, I will be next to you. <laughs> Thank you! Oh my goodness, I... Mashiro really helped me play, lol. That's great! I also have been missing so many other people's streams. Like, over the last, like... I want to say three months? No. Has it only been like two months? Gosh, it feels like it's been longer. I have not seen people's streams. I've missed fig streams, like completely, <laughs> for a long time now, and it makes me devastatingly sad. I made one because I made an effort to actually go ahead and close off everything else in my life and go and watch my friends' streams. I made an Emmy stream, a Karu stream, a Fig stream. I haven't been able to make Mashiro's yet because hers are usually later in the night. So I didn't, I wasn't able to do any of those. I still need to. I need to go back and watch some of her streams. She's so good. Please go give her some love. She very, very, very much, um, uh, yeah, I saw the fig was streaming and went <laughs> and I went is Yuma there nope <laughs> they talked about me while we were playing D&D Dachi sent me a clip of someone's just like this is the game that we need Yuma's help in <laughs> and thank you thank you <coughs> I was gonna do the shout out and then I forgot how to shout out because it's been over a month since I've streamed so I forgot all my commands thank you Aki <laughs> And then Fig was just like, Yuma hasn't streamed in forever. Where the hell is he? <laughs> uh, I need to go back and watch that stream too, because that looked like a fun game. I love games like that, and I hate that people called me <laughs> called me out. It was just like, this is a perfect Yuma helping game. <laughs> I would have absolutely helped out too. I just didn't have any signal. I didn't have any service to watch. Um, actually 22 days, lol. Oh, thank God it hasn't been a month then. If it's only been a f it's it's only been less than a month, I'm happy about that. <laughs> oh, man. God, I love this song. Why was this song so hype? And then the game was just so strategically tragic. <laughs> it, was, it didn't even feel like Persona 5. It felt like something else. Oh, well. Anyway. I am back. The schedule is changed though. I will try my best to keep Sunday streams and then Friday streams as well. Those two I am never going to ever change. Well, February is short, so yeah, I guess February is like, it was only 29 days. It, we had the, even the leap year and I still couldn't even make a day in February. 
Uh, I think I... No, I didn't stream at all last month! <laughs> oh, God! I was gone for a whole month! Fuck! I don't think I streamed last month. Let me check. Uh, yes, I streamed a total of one, two, three. I streamed four times last month. Dear God. Oh, yeah, and you did beat Thunderblight Ganon on Master Mode, but dying in Ganon. Oh, no. You streamed on, uh, like, on the 9th. Yeah, I think the 9th was the last time I streamed, which is tragic. We got into a Zelda grind, that's right. Oh gosh, I need to get back into that. Um, but I also need to get into Nocturne because, if you guys haven't heard, SMT5 is getting a deluxe edition, <laughs> which is weird because that's usually a Persona thing. So Atlas makes their games nowadays for Persona, because they release a title, and then a few, a few like months, maybe a year afterwards, no, a few years afterwards, sorry, they'll release a deluxe edition. I hate Zelda more now, not because I'm bad, because Zelda's a fucking bitch. Go save yourself, Zelda. <laughs> Game is hard. I know! I'm not gonna be able to beat the Wind Blight Ganon, or whatever it's called. <coughs> not if it's, I'm gonna have to use, um... The slowing time thing. I ain't got stamina for that. Oh no, is gonna have to go to all these shrines. Thank you, Nightbot. I haven't forgotten how to do that. God, the one thing I didn't do on the 10th when I was revamping everything is revamp Nightbot to tell people to join the Discord. <laughs> Windblight Ganon easy? I bet. I just, I'm not very good at game. You guys have seen this. You understand this. I suck. You know how many times I died on the first Zelda stream? In the tutorial level. It took me forever just to do the tutorial level. I think it took us, what, four hours? <laughs> oh, yes. Discord. Please, join the Discord. We have some fun things coming to the Discord relatively soon. Like, it's already started, and once I give Aki the green light for um, anime, we will be streaming anime, we will also have updates on Yuma projects, um, Wednesday streams, I was talking about streams, <laughs> um, coming up soon, I should probably get back to, uh, uh, uh. Aha! um, schedule has kind of changed, no more Monday streams, I'm sorry, uh, but I need to focus on working on Pokemon Project before they shut down Pokemon Bank. I'm still only in Black and White 1. I need to get through Black and White, Black and White 2, Kalos, Hoenn, <laughs> and Alola games before they shut down Pokemon Bank. That's over seven different games I need to get through. Oof, excuse me. So, he... If you bring bomb arrows to Windblight, uh, it will be... A one minute fight trust me I have so many anime to watch oh sh tr trust me too I do as well like we have been watching fairy tale and we're in the Tartarus arc right now I hate that it's Tartarus and not Tartarus but whatever um so finally being able to finish my first anime I ever watched ever outside of like Saturday morning cartoon Pokemon bullshit um is really exciting honestly <laughs> If you need tips on any Pokemon games, don't be afraid to ask me. Oh, yes, of course. I'm just following the guides on Bulbapedia right now, and the adventure script my friend is telling me about. Um, and then I'll be able to work on that project and start putting things on YouTube. Also, YouTube has... has blah, 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 blah. <laughs> YouTube has been overhauled as well. What YouTube is going to be now is stream VODs and any projects related to Yuma lore. So, the things that are up there right now are... World's End Club, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, and stream VODs, I think, are the only things that are up there. You, my plan is to wing it and somehow win. <laughs> I... 
I am doing what my friend has been doing now and using Pokemon that people don't use, not the mainstream Pokemon, all the shitty Pokemon that they make, and then use them to beat the entire game, all the way up to champion. So, basically zero to hero. I love you. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel too. We'll watch Zexel. I will, I will, um, I'll buy Zexel on if I haven't already bought it. I actually, I don't think I have to buy it. I think it's... I think somebody has it free on YouTube, so I'll I'll stream us watching it um, in the Discord at some point because I love Zexel. <laughs> I still have to watch it in Japanese because if I really like a show, I will watch it in English and then I'll watch it in Japanese later. While you were gone, I got a level 100 Mudkip. Not Swampert, but Mudkip! I have it for free too. Yeah! Oh, I also <laughs> own it. I own it in Japanese and I own it on- they have it on Crunchyroll? I didn't think they had Yu-Gi-Oh! on Crunchyroll. I would be very impressed. I know they have it on Amazon, but I think you have to buy it on Amazon. At least some of some of the later series you have to buy. I think the first three, um, DM, GX, and 5Ds are free. They do? Crunchyroll? What the fuck? <coughs> God, Zexel was beautiful. Zexel is when the anime was... I feel like was at its peak and then 5d's or not 5d's um arc 5 it was beautiful to watch and i loved all the story except the story made no fucking sense by the time that it got to the end because it was all over the place it was trying to do one thing then it was like and eh, we'll go this way instead and eh, we'll go this way instead and eh, we'll go this way instead i still love everything that came out of 5d's like um the hanafuda cards are one of my favorite archetypes. What are they? Flower Cardians? God, that's such an interesting and cool concept. Arc 5 was good, but the decks uh, outside of Performer Fowls was chaos. abso fucking lootly. One of the reasons why I love Flower Cardians is it could probably still be used today and completely demolish people with just Light Flare. <laughs> A 5,000 attack monster that can basically negate any card activation any card activation that already doesn't have the text cannot be um this effect cannot be uh deactivated by other card effects or something like that it literally can sweep anything <laughs> and then also make sure that you don't draw or you take damage it's a lovely deck and then performa pals are just completely broken and absurd as well they're fun to use but once you actually understand how that deck works it gets to be you can do anything anywhere and then they introduce link monsters and then everything broke i haven't still watched brains i'll watch brains soon i just mm, i hate link monsters with a fucking passion they ruined exceed summoning with master rule four i'm pretty sure and then I couldn't spam Exceed Summon, and I could only put one one Utopia on the board, and then I was like, fuck this, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> I like summon this motherfucker, then I tribute <laughs> the motherfucker, and then I Synchro Summon this motherfucker, and then Exceed Summon, and then Pendulum Summon, and then BS, and I lose. <coughs> Links must kill themselves. Honestly, no offense to the people who use Link Monsters, but you really hate the game, don't you? If you have to go out and then just... Every card has a purpose, see? I believe this. Any old Yu-Gi-Oh! player will believe this as well. Every card has a purpose, and if you have a card in your deck that's only used for tributing, get good, <laughs> please. Don't just rely on such useless tactics like that. Don't waste your deck with stuff like that. Use your cards for their effects, please. Don't just use them for tributing spam. It's tributing summoning but on crack. Yeah, it really is, and it's stupid. I understand the whole co-link thing and the being able to... Oh, if this is a Link 2 monster, you can use the Link 2 monster as two monsters... And then one other monster for a Link 3, I think. I don't remember how Links work. Because it got confusing. Because it was... No, I think they count as a... 
a link two counts as a link one but then you only need one other monster in order to summon a link three with it and then a link three can count as a link uh two monsters and then you would just need one other monster to link it into a link five i don't i don't i or into a link i don't know it it's stupid it's confusing i hate it i'm sure the anime will be able to explain to me how it works but also i'm pretty sure that anime sucked as well because we haven't gotten actually no we did get sevens in um disney did sevens apparently just like how Disney did Sun and Moon. And I know a lot of people bashed on Sun and Moon. But those are the people that didn't stick around until like the season finale of Sun and Moon. When it got fucking good. Like my friend, um, my friend Kyle was just like, was watching a little bit of it. And then I was like, dude, just wait, just wait. It's gonna get good. It's gonna get good. After the Litten, after Ash gets Litten, it gets really good. And it, he was just like, oh my gosh, what happened to Pokemon? But also, I fucking love this. And I was like, right? <laughs> Then after Vrains, it's like, what Rush doing? Fuck, that shit give me a Pendulum and Xyz summon in his mind. I actually want to see what the Rush doing is like. Because it was an overhaul. Um, in the anime, I was watch uh, watching a video that was explaining it. The main character doesn't like how Duel Monsters is. So he hacks into the Duel Monsters, like, computer server... And then overhauls the rules so that everybody follows what he comes up with and he creates rush duels. And that's what it is for the entire anime. <laughs> and I'm just like, you know what? I can get behind that. I'll just watch it. Also, some of the card art for rush duels, the, the rush duels is really cool. We're never going to get that here in America, which is sad. Only They're only available in Korea and Japan. Because that's the kind of style that they like. It got really popular over there. I don't think they're making any more rush cards, but it'd be really cool if they were. If you summon as many monsters as you want in your turn, filling up the field with cards at will, you refill your hand to at least five cards at the start of each turn, no matter how many cards you've lost. No way! Okay, rush duels might be a little broken. But you only have, like, three spots to play cards in anymore, either. It's kind of like, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bam. I think that's what they were trying to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! Bam, is see what, um, Rush Duels could be. And they were trying to hopefully make Rush Duels. Because, yeah, because they had Link at that time. When Bam was introduced, Link summoning started becoming the new thing. So they were probably prepping themselves for a new style of dueling after Link. That's what Google said? No, I think you're right on that one, honestly. Rush Duels is not typical Yu-Gi-Oh! rules. That's why we don't have it over here. It would have to be its own separate tournament thing if we get it over here in the West. Which is never gonna happen because people won't like it. That's why Konami gave it to Disney to do uh, the dub and the animation. Not to mention all the... Um, characters are children. They're literally elementary school children. Oh, three place sounds uh, like what that show. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy fight. Buddy fight. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. I have not seen buddy fight, but is if it's like buddy fight, then yes. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh's gotten very strange and they also came out um, recently. I'll see if I can find the video and maybe put in the discord. But, um, for the 25th anniversary, they did this, like, um, I don't know, like, 20 minute, maybe not 20 minute, maybe like 15, 10, 15 minute video, um, are you watching it with me? Um, the video, I already watched it, because I was just like, what is this? It's, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Chronicles, or whatever, and they go throughout the, in um, throughout the ages of the different archetypes and stuff that they've introduced, and, um, uh, and gave, like, a little animation for most of them. So you have, like, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl fighting against Blue Eyes White Dragon, and then you had, um, the Sky Strikers had a little bit of a bout that they had going on. Um, gotta see the, the Elemental Charmer Girls. 
I forget what they're called. I think they're just called the Charmers. Um, what was another card archetype that they had? Oh, they had the um, the Live Twins. That was a really cool one. Uh, it's it's really beautiful. If you guys go in and just go to the Konami website. I don't remember if it's um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization or if it's just Konami in general. But if you find it on YouTube, it's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Chronicles. I know that's what it's called. It's a good video. I enjoyed I enjoyed the animation. It was beautiful animation. And it's just seeing some of the cards that I know and have grown up with come to life was just really cool. Um... Oh, schedule. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so schedule has changed a little bit. You watch all... Are you watching all three seasons? Of what? Wait, are they making it into a show? Or Buddy Fight? I have not seen Buddy Fight. We could watch Buddy Fight. I'd be okay with that. Um, for my schedule, though... In order for me to start working on my projects and my books a little bit more... Buddy Fight? Yeah. If we can stream Buddy Fight in the Discord, I'll watch it. I'll try my best to watch it is what I mean to say. I can't always promise that I'll be able to make the anime stream nights just because um, I might be tired after work so then I might not come over into my den to be on my computer or something might come up and then I might have to go somewhere or Dawn might want me to hang out with her that day. I don't know. There might be a lot of things that just come up. We'll come up with something, though, so I can at least make most of them. Um, no more streams on Mondays, but Wednesdays I have, um, you can host on Friday and Saturday. Yeah, if we do Friday night, maybe after stream, I don't know. I don't know. We can come up with some. We can come up with times and dates and stuff. I will try to be a little bit more active in the Discord to do the thing. Depends on friends' plans. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Also, yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to always be in there too. Is the thing. Um. We'll have something. We'll get something planned out. Wednesdays though. If you guys have things during the day, is what I'm gonna do this. Like from, I don't know, maybe afternoon until like evening. Um, I am going to try to start working on my projects and stuff a little bit more. So I will have a no mic stream and I'll be working on things. I'll stream what I'm working on and then you guys can work on me and then we can listen to, I don't think I'll post those um, streams up on the stream VODs, so I'll just, I'll probably use my A playlist, and if songs get, you know, taken down, say la vie, because we won't care. <laughs> uh, it's fine, I'll entertain myself by watching, lol, that's good. And then we can have people come in, slowly and surely, we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something. Because I really, really want uh, the Discord to be to be active. I I enjoy how active it is, and I want to give you guys things that you can do in it. So you're gonna show us uh, about you working Pokemon? Um, yes. When I get to that point, I'm not at that point yet, which is the problem. I need to get everything written down, so then I can go and work on those projects. So what? The Pokemon projects will probably end up being is a scripted, um, will be scripted episodes with maybe some drawings and stuff that are put up. So, short videos that have a script <laughs> behind them. I know. That's why I'm trying to get through it. So then, I can have all... 1,052, I want to say? 1,058 Pokemon. Um, under Yusuke's name, and then be able to tell you guys the adventures of Yusuke. But, that's only once I get done with it all. Do you need to finish the Pokedex in the game? Yes and no. 
But I'm also cheating with that because I got the PKSM. So that's what's that's um, why I had my friend jailbreak my 3DS is so this project would be made a little bit easier. So then I get every single Pokemon, and if I can't, I can just hack it in. But it won't be a hacked in Pokemon per se. It will still be hacked in, but it will be not a busted Pokemon. It'll just be there as a placeholder. I'll never use it. <laughs> what that? <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing. No worry about. <laughs> um. <coughs> and so I know people's whole gripe is just like, oh my gosh, you're hacking Pokemon. It's for the sake of filling the Pokedex and only that. I will never use these Pokemon ever. They're just there to look pretty, which I know is just the whole thing about me just saying like with Yu-Gi-Oh, just don't fill your deck with. Uh, with placeholder stuff. This is for the sake of catching them all sort of a thing. Eventually, in later games, in the Switch games, I will do my best to actually catch every single one of them, mainly because they don't have a PKSM for, uh, for the Switch yet. Maybe once the Switch gets shut down, I might see if there is one, but... Oh, my noise. Um, it's not there yet. I run one what's your emergency. Yeah, some assholes cheating Pokemon. <laughs> That's a serious crime. Quime? That's a serious crime. We'll be there right away. <laughs> no, don't arrest me, Officer Jenny. Please don't. <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it's my nose. My nose is making me sound ooh-ooh, and I'm not trying to. Ugh. I'm not fully out of this. I love Quime. Go. Do a Quime. Yippee! Um, but yeah, Pokemon Project's actually going to be relatively quick and easy, hopefully. I am at... Elisa, I want to say is her name. Never played Black and White, so it's quite fun. Honestly, we have a Crustal, we have an Embor, and we have an Audino on the team right now. So it's fun. <gasps> Emmy! Hello, Emmy! Can we get a shout out for Emmy? Ooh. Hi, Emmy! How you doing? Oh, our lovely Chaos Gremlin is here! How have you been? How is Artist Block? Have you come out of Artist Block? Are you doing the goods? Has streams finally started working for you too? You have so many things that have gone wrong for you and I really hope that everything has come out better. <laughs> Hydrate? Thank you. For those who are not aware, Emmy is a lovely artist who streams as well i think i haven't seen emmy pop up in my streams lately in my stream notifications so i think you still stream yeah streams not yet uh but art progress yes 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 go oh man i know how tough artist block can breathe sometimes yeah let's go fuck artist block fuck any creative block it sucks i hate um for me, it's writer's block is what I have to get through. How am I? I am doing not too bad, but my nose is still a little stuffy and I got a little bit of a coffee. Oh, it's, it's, it's woof. Follow her or you will twist, or we will twist your kneecaps, please. <laughs> yeah, we'll break your people's kneecaps if you don't follow Emmy. Emmy deserves all the love and attention that we tried to give her here. Honest, honest. <laughs> But yeah, I was sick for a while. I haven't streamed in a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm feeling a little better and I'm starting to get up on the horse again. So... <laughs> when life knocks you down, you just gotta get back up and eat that horse. Come eat that horse with me, Vegeta. The fuck you on about? <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm getting better. Oof, it's getting hot in here. Why? Because Emmy showed up, that's why. My space heater is also just going fucking ham. Um. 
I'm gonna take a, a note from your book, Emmy. Oh man, I miss the team. <laughs> I love Team Four Star. I will reference it as much as I can just for you, Toasted Little Buns. Emmy, I'm taking something from your book. I'm gonna be working on my writing and stuff while being muted on stream. So then I can actually get my work done, but then I can also stream at the same time. So thanks, Mom. I appreciate the the advice. When life gives you lemon, you squeeze it in your own enemy's eyes. <laughs> I'm special. Of course, yeah, yeah. All of you are special. I love you all. But I very much appreciate that somebody else can understand my Team, team 4 Star references. I do a lurkies. Enjoy your lurkies then, Emmy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I'll probably be shutting stream down relatively soon. Maybe in like 30 minutes to an hour. Gonna be very short today. I so sorry. You must still busy. You got so much to do. I still have to prep my D&D shit. <laughs> Been working so hard on D&D. I finally have like a complete lore for my entire world for D&D as well. Which is crazy to think of because my cam my my world stretches between um wait origin incarnation mentor through five different campaigns <laughs> no uh you staying we got you at gunpoint you ain't going nowhere <laughs> you're gonna stay with us and you're gonna enjoy Yuma stream um. No, no, no. Let her enjoy her lurkies. She enjoys. She, she, blah, 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 blah. She deserves it. Jeez, Louise, I can't talk. I didn't even warm my voice up before this. <coughs> Is that a bubble heart gun? I fucking love that. <laughs> I need to work on my emotes as well. I, I wanted to, um, hand draw. Um, some simple chibi style emotes and then scan them in then paint them on computer and then key the fuck is that I don't know I don't know what you're talking about I don't know maybe if you if you if you get it something might happen Uh, you'll just have to see. You'll have to see. I have to also start working on that a little bit more before anybody gets a key. <laughs> um, the fuck you mean? I don't know. You got it. <laughs> Man, I hate saving up. You don't have to save up. That's the thing. You don't have to is the thing. It's there for those who are very devoted to the idea. VIP. Do you not have VIP status, Aki? Oh, God. You don't have VIP status. Now, how do I do that again? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Why not? You deserve it. Aki, I am looking at your stats by the way and you have over 999 messages you have placed in yuma streams i very much appreciate you it's a badge i know it's a badge how come i can't give it to you why can't i give it to you it will remove uh it will remove my mod it was a joke oh i don't think it would remove your mod would it Try again. I'll try and see later. I can't figure it out right now. Yuma, what? What did I do? Did I? Did I? Did I out how many messages you had? <laughs> you not want that? Okay, I won't do it. I promise. But you should be a VIP anyways. You've been here from the very beginning. Most of you guys who are here from the very beginning should have it. Oh wait. Toast of Little Buns doesn't probably have it because they joined in about a month afterwards? No, I was telling you not to give me VIP. No, I was telling you... Sorry, my brain freaking lagged right there. I was telling you not to give me VIP, lol. I have 
no idea what VIP means. <laughs> Very important person. It just, I'll give you a little jewel badge. So then it'll, it'll be right next to your name. And then it'll be like, I'm a person who supports this stream. Mm-hmm. Kind of a thing. I figured now that we're like, what? Four months old? Five months old? We're not six yet. I know we're not six. We might be six. I think we're only five months old. I can't remember. Oh, so a shiny little useless thing? Awesome. Yeah, like half the shit I give you guys. <laughs> it's shiny, it's useless, and it comes from the heart. Uh, well, I don't. Nose gross. <laughs> oh. Uh, I saw you. My nose is disgusting. But I can't help it because I can't fuck a breathe. Um... God damn, there was one other thing I wanted to inform you guys about. Oh! We'll be starting, um... Nocturne again soon. We'll be doing more Zelda. We'll start Nocturne again soon. So then we can get through Nocturne. Because Nocturne is important for... Yuma lore purposes. And then we also will be playing through SMT5. But we'll be playing through Vengeance... When Vengeance comes out, hopefully, Fox Zelda. Exactly what I'm thinking. But you know, I started it for the whole point of beating Thunderblight Ganon. That's my only reason. I could care. Yeah, she can save herself for all I fucking care. Link, the blood moon rises once again. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to grind for arrows. <laughs> Thank you, night bot. Um, oh. But, we will be, um, starting Nocturne up again. And once Vengeance comes out for SMT5, I do want to play through Vengeance. Either with you guys, or we'll play it simultaneously with Dawn. Um, because Vengeance is also important for the Yuma lore. And also kind of a very fun game. Zelda and Peach are siblings? No. At least Peach is tolerable. The whole problem with Peach is that she just leaves Toads to be saved in her world as well. Vengeance. Batman. I am Vengeance. I'm Batman. <laughs> no, uh, so, okay. There was a Nintendo Direct not too long ago. And I watched it. And I was, they introduced that they were going to be releasing a new game for SMT. And it's SMT5 Vengeance. Except I thought it was SMT5, um... Eminence or whatever it was because I didn't see that the V underneath the five Was there so I was just like oh this is gonna be like a Like a new side game, but During the main events of the main game what? interesting and then Later while looking it up to explain it to one of my friends. I was just like yeah Yeah, it's so cool. And then I looked it up and I was like wait a second It's just a redux version are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're just giving me a deluxe version of a game I already have? Better not make me play, pay a full fucking price tag for like three hours of new content. Because I'll get mad. But I will play that game. I enjoyed SMT5. Not as much as Nocturne, but I still enjoyed it. So I hope to show it to you guys. It's an open world game too. Mm, that was wrong. The areas are open world. Um, so it's not like the dungeons themselves are open world. Which is really, really fun and cool, honestly. You're able to go anywhere in, in, in the amount of space that you are able to explore in. Which is so cool. Because that's not how SMT or Persona is. Except Persona 5 kind of is like that. Oh yeah... Uh, you heard about the Venusaur raid, um, on Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, and the Blastoise raid, too. Yeah, I saw Pokemon, I saw the Pokemon Day thing, too. Oh my god, that's what we need to talk about. Pokemon ZA. What the hell is Legend ZA? My friend has been gone for, like, ages, and I have not seen him in a long time. My Pokemon friend. I'm just like, I need him to help me with my Pokemon project. And he was telling me about... Oh yeah, spoiler warning for anybody who has not seen this. 
there's not a lot of information. Just a new Pokemon game has been announced. So yeah. But he's the same person that gave me information about the uh, DLC for Scarlet and Violet. So I knew about Momotaru, um, the, not Momotaru, what's his name? Petrunt. I knew about Petrunt before and like going deeper into Area Zero before like um, the DLC was even announced. Because um, he, he doesn't play the games, he gets the information from them and whatnot. So he, uh, he was, as when I got done with the game, I was like, oh yeah, that was, that wasn't a bad game. And he was just like, so how far down did you, did you enjoy like the, the, like, did you, did you find the tree and whatnot? Did you, did you enjoy going even further down? And I was just like, even further down the tree, the fuck you talking about? And he was like, did you at least get to meet, you know, the Momotaru dude? He's like, Momotaru, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <coughs> oh man, I'm a cap 800 plus hours when that game is gonna be released next year. That's the thing, they're not coming out with anything this year. 2024 is a dry spell. What the fuck, Pokemon? Game Freak has never done this in the last, like, 10 years. They have not done this. They have not, re not released a Pokemon game every single year. 2024, we're not getting a Pokemon game. That's so fucking weird. At least not a mainstream Pokemon game. Like, DLC still counts as releasing new content for us. <laughs> More creatures to enslave. I can't wait to see what regional exclusives or, like, ZA Pokemon we get. And Megas are back! Let's go! I knew Petrarunt, uh because they had plushies around, so I went, That sounds like a theory. A game theory. Yeah. <coughs> It's gonna be on Switch too, so more money to waste. I know, but what I'm thinking is um, that you could probably sell your Switch because they'll make it so that, kind of like how the DS was for the 3DS, that you can play your Switch games over on whatever Switch 2 is gonna be. Hopefully, that's if Nintendo is smart. And if they're not smart, we're gonna go into Nintendo of America Go up to the CEO, just be like, dude, what the fuck? I know it's Japan to blame, but you should have been convincing them otherwise. <laughs> $70, fuck, like 10 extra dollars. I know, that's going to be the other thing. So long, $60 price tag. We went up from $40 to $60 after the 3DS to Switch. $40 for a, Switch, for a 3DS game. Remember that day and age? Back in the early 2000s? Teens, those nice $40, $50 price games are a thing of the past because now we have $60 games and now they're bridging up to like $80 even on PlayStation and Xbox. So then what is Nintendo going to be like? Well, if our other competitors are doing better and people are still buying the games, of course we're going to raise the prices on these ones. So, let's make them 70, maybe 80. Fuck it. They'll pay one-fourth of the price of a console just to play a video game that only gives them, like, I don't know, 20 hours of gameplay. Ha <laughs> ha. Sometimes I feel like gaming companies don't really care about us, and the only thing they actually ever do care about is the fucking money. Which makes sense, because that's how they're able to make new games, but Jesus Christ. I'm gonna just transfer my data, uh, because I have two switches, so I will sell one and keep one for all uh, my other data. That's not a bad idea. What we might end up doing, and I'm gonna probably convinced Dawn about this. She has a Switch Lite, yeah? Does not play that Switch Lite very much. So, go back to our original thing. Give her a, um, profile on my main Switch, sell the Switch Lite for a little bit of cash to get the Switch 2. Because we'll probably also get the Switch 2, let's be honest. Oh, well, it's true. It is true. Big companies go... Uh, can go get <laughs> decked on in the schnoz. Yes, I want to fucking deck them in the schnoz. Like, there's, there's, I understand where they're coming from and whatnot. It's just like, oh, we're competing with each other. But even at this rate, Xbox 
understands that digital games, like digital sales, is better for them in the long run than making physical copied games. That's why they're not doing version exclusive games anymore between Xbox and PlayStation. The only reason why Nintendo doesn't do this is because it's the only family console system. No other family console system exists. They killed Sega and consumed Sega. They own Sega. <laughs> Sega doesn't make any more consoles anymore. They used to. But now they don't. <laughs> Why? Because Nintendo was so much better. They were the first and better at it. The only reason why PlayStation is able to still do its thing is because Xbox is American. PlayStation is Japanese. Those things are on two different sides of the fucking world. <laughs> Switch Lite no use. Mm, goodbye, you piece of shit. Give me the good one. No. Uh, but like, why compete? Nintendo has the best games on there. Well, yeah, Nintendo basically will port um, Xbox and PlayStation games to them eventually if they have popular enough sales. That's the whole thing. What it is, is the family console system. That's why you don't see a lot of e-rated playstation and um xbox games is because they're usually going to be like pc games or they're going to be nintendo games or like put on nintendo first because what's the um <laughs> i'm gonna go to add hell brb <laughs> oh no has it started it, it, it didn't show up for me yet we're already past the hour mark so it really should show up soon sadness <laughs> Um, but think of, like, how, um, well, like, Minecraft's a bad example because Minecraft got ported over to PlayStation, Switch, and Xbox immediately. Actually, through Nintendo. I think it was actually on 3DS before it was on the Switch. But, um, those kind of family games start off on, usually, the Nintendo first, and then they'll see themselves go over, um... No, most of your E-rated games, if you have an Xbox and a Play or a PlayStation, you can get them on there because people understand, oh, we can get more sales from people that have them with these con or that have these consoles. But always an E-rated game is going to be put onto the next Nintendo family system. Just because GameCube, Wii, Switch those are the systems that most families will have. Why? Because it's, like I said, a family console. Many people can play on it at a time. Saves you money and effort than trying to buy a bunch of different um, controllers and stuff for a PlayStation. Or to buy this super expensive PlayStation that's like $200 more than the, uh, say, the Switch. Wasn't that the whole thing? Like, the... Xbox Series S and the PlayStation 5 were like $600, $800, while the Switch was only like $400, $500. You are stronger than all things that made you weak. I got into a rant about that. I, I don't know. I watch these things quite vigorously because, I don't know, I enjoy video games and they make me happy, so I want to be able to afford the new video games so I can get that new extra dopamine that will gradually go away over years, except for Persona 5. I love that game. I'm going to show my children that game and I'm going to make them like it too, hopefully. It's a good game. But that's also one of the reasons why Pokemon has not been introduced to any other system. Mainly also because it's its own cash cow. Literally, Pokemon will be the death of itself eventually. <laughs> but until then, it will remain where it is. That's why you can't play Pokemon on iPhones, um, Androids, on PC, Xbox, PlayStation. is because Pokemon is its own monopoly. That has understood its place in the world. And being the core family front game. It overtakes even the mascot of Nintendo itself. Mario. Pokemon itself. Sorry. Stuffy. 
Pokemon itself will never bridge itself out of Nintendo's grasp because it is the core front, one of the three major heads. Arky! Let's go! We met our sub goal! Thank you, Toasted Little Butts. And I hope Aki is able to see that they got their got their subscription. Thank you, thank you. Now I have to raise the sub goal. No more ads. Yeah, you're out of ad hell. I don't know if you were able to hear any of my speech. But the three major heads um, of the Nintendo franchise that keep family, the family system games alive are Zelda, Mario, and Pokemon. Not in that order. Pokemon's on top, Mario is second, and then Zelda takes third place. Because your Zelda game will be the game for your older kids that are getting into like the tens and stuff, but still want to have a game that they can play with their siblings and whatnot. So your little brother just be like, Wow, big brother, you're so cool. You can beat up that evil pig demon. Mario is the game that you can play together. Huh? And then Pokemon is just the gateway to anything Japanese. So then you will buy more of their Nintendo games. Because most of the Nintendo games come from Japan. So hey, there's a gateway drug for your kids. Ha ha. <laughs> Oh, you look so cute with your with your little with your little heart badge now. Ah, yeah. Also, Pokemon. If you heard that joke, it was a joke. Pokemon is not a gateway drug, but it does bring kids into the. Uh, um, I don't know. Soon. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> It does bring kids into the whole idea of Japan's beautiful culture and gaming uh, um, gaming sphere, which is great. Pokemon was my gateway into a lot of uh, JRPGs and stuff. Honestly, that is what it is. It's the gateway to JRPGs. It's those kids that usually play um, Pokemon will probably end up playing Zelda games later as well. And I don't blame them. Zelda's relatively fun. Annoying as fucking hell for the Switch games, but fun. I've never played any other Zelda game, by the way. I probably, probably should. Minish Cap has always been one that I wanted to go and try, but um, never did. Because I remember seeing a Minish Cap um, Game Boy Advance cartridge. Um... <coughs> In, in stores when I was very young and I was just like that's a funny looking duck hat that looks like it'd be a very fun game to play maybe I should see if mom and dad will let me buy that game so I can play the, the funny duck cat game who knows Ocarina of Time is a good one I, I know I've heard Ocarina of Time is a good one Twilight Princess is weird but you can get behind it and then Majora's Mask is infamously hard, but a good game as well. And then I've been told that any, um, don't play Wind Waker, and... What's the train one? <laughs> don't play that one either. <laughs> um, but the, the... I'm calling them the Wild series, because I don't know where they take place. But the, the Switch game series, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, um, those are relatively fun games, mainly because of their crafting, the, the, not the crafting system, but like their, uh, durabil the durability system, so then you always are having to scavenge for things. It's really cool. I think it's really cool, at least. Makes me feel like I'm playing a beginner's version of Skyrim, and I like Skyrim. <laughs> Should play Skyrim at some point, too. Would that be something people would watch? You guys want to see me go on a high fantasy adventure? <laughs> I've never beaten Skyrim. I really should. I might actually do that after stream. If if Dawn is still, um... 
if Dawn is still doing her cleaning and stuff and whatnot. I might just sit down and play Skyrim. I'm also doing a- No, don't play Skyrim. <laughs> I enjoy Skyrim, though. That's good. Then I can play it on my own time and nobody will ever win it. No, you said no. You can't take it back. <laughs> Ooh, no, no backsies. Mm-mm. <laughs> Ding all your hopes and dreams to the gentle man, man. He'll make them all come true. Wanna know the sad thing as well? No! <laughs> nah, if I if I really feel like it, I might play Skyrim. But I wanna play Skyrim with mods is the thing, so I'll probably play it when I get a PC. Because I have a whole bunch of mods. I wanted to start like an overlord playthrough of Skyrim, so I wanted to play as a skeleton um a skeleton mage so i wanted to see if you could play like as a skeleton race and somebody made a mod for that and i was like oh fuck yeah i mine's all going bitches let's go <laughs> and i was like wait can i actually have like an underworld castle and and uh and a, a bunch of demons and stuff uh not necessarily but i found a way that i could have a daughter turn her into a vampire so then I can have Shaltier be married to one of the um um it's not the starting woman that you're able to wed but there's another one and then you I'm pretty sure you can turn her into a vampire and then I was just like great I can just say that's Albedo <laughs> lethal company is another one that I have to play too yeah God, I love Lethal Company. I watched Mark, Bob, and Wade play their series. There's only five or 15 episodes of it, but I fucking love it. And I want to have the Yippee uh, hoard bug, hoarding bug mod because I just love that. The yippee! <laughs> um, what's another game that would be really fun to play with mods? I don't know. This is one of the things that I really enjoy about PC gaming at this point. I don't think I will ever enjoy playing PC games because I'm not a I, I too many buttons and I I like having the handheld controller is the thing. But he wants everyone she knows to play lol. I'll play. I have lethal company. I need to talk to Bunny. Bunny needs to at me. <laughs> Karu, if you can hear me, if you need people to play with you, just at me like 15 times <laughs> or just message me like 15 times. So I can talk to you about setting up a date to come play Lethal Company. I will do it. I probably won't be able to stream it, but I will play it. <laughs> I will. I'm down for it. I would love to. I just probably can't stream it, but I can play it. I can. I promise that much. Um, Raft is another one that is like really fun. I don't think there's mods in Raft. As far as I know. But I, that's my thing about pc gaming is um i'll probably play games not for like the game purpose but like for playing as mod modded games because i don't know at that point that gives you like the freedom and creativity to do whatever you want and play as you want as i want to like i said i want to be einzel gon from overlord in skyrim and my PC version of Skyrim allows me to do that. It's great. I can tell her that Yuma will want to play Lethal Company. Yeah! Tell her to... It, when she wants to... Before she before she wants to... To message me. <laughs> Why am I... T I could just go and tell her this myself. I'm friends with Karu. <laughs> I, I'll do my best to try and hang out with Karu as well. Because, god damn, I want to hang out with Karu. Karu's so cool. If you guys haven't, um, I'm gonna try and do a shout out. I, I remember how to shout out. Shout out, Karu Boon. I just haven't gone and called over to Karu's channel. Go to Karu's channel. Karu's lovely. Karu's great. I love Karu. Karu's so much fun to be around. Um, I got to watch her play Pokemon Unite. And my god, Karu's. Okay, Karu's overly good at mmos i want to praise her for a little bit holy shit is she really good at mmos <laughs> i i am impressed honestly even with a game like pokemon unite she still finds a way even when she's not having a fun time she still finds a way to win and carry everyone with her 
She usually plays like Overwatch and stuff like that, where it's, for me, it's a lot more chaotic because there's so much stuff going around and whatnot. Um, so I could probably never play Overwatch because too much information to process in such a short period of time. But for Pokemon Unite, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's your kids RP or MMO. Karu is good at everything. I know! Karu picks up a game and she's just like, yeah, I could master this in like two minutes flat. I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? What? <laughs> and, then, and then she's just like, oh, man, it only took me 30 seconds this time. God damn it. And I'm like, God, you fucking legend. <laughs> uh, I, I speak as if I know Karu enough and whatnot. But I, I have seen Karu play games. And as much as she beats herself up on some things, she's just really good at things as well. <laughs> I will never play Overwatch, but I'll play Val because I can understand what happens, lol. I, yeah, Val is a little bit slower as well, but Val is still, you know, a, one of those games that can be quick-paced if it needs to be. Um, but Pokemon Unite is one of those, you know, it's, it's Pokemon, so it's gonna be slower, so five-year-olds can understand how to play. And Karu still finds a way to completely obliterate the game doing anything, <laughs> just anything. Oh, man. And I'm sure, uh, I, I think she plays it for, like, skins and stuff like that, which is really good. And that gives, that gives, like, the older players the ability to, like, uh, aim for something. I, in Overwatch, you just aim to be good, honestly. And Karu is good. Uh, Karu's amazing. <laughs> so, I don't know if skins are still her only, uh, only aim in that game or if she's aiming for, like, the trophies and stuff in that game, too. I don't know. There's so much going on in MMOs as well that I can't really wrap my head around it. And it's just, I'm just sitting there like a fucking five-year-old just dangling my legs watching the older people play. And I'm just like, yeah, this is good. <laughs> I'm just so fascinated by how well other people can do in these kind of games. Because to me, it's just like, this is like, I would take months to even get good at this game. Years to be considered an amateur. <laughs> Val is just finding what person you are good at, at the most. Okay, yeah, I can understand that. With those kind of MMO games, yeah. it That's what I feel like is the whole thing, is any of those MMOs. You just gotta figure out what's your style of play. Like League and, and Val and uh, Overwatch. It's just like, what is your style of play? What character are you able to understand and perfect the best? And then utilize to its fullest potential for me it's none of them <laughs> <coughs> i just suck i can't play any of them games they're just too difficult for you to learn that and learn not to run into action trust me i learned that the hard way oh yeah if you try to be a hero you'll go down a coward or <laughs> you'll go down a fool not a coward of uh, the people that that uh do the uh What's it called? You used to call it puppy dogging in um, in tag, but they have a word for it now. Guard dogging, I think, is what it is. The people who just like sit back and stay in one little area and just—that's <sighs> not fun. You gotta go around. You gotta move around. You gotta do things. You gotta be interactive. You can't just sit there and do one thing. You can't be a ranger. <laughs> you can't be. You can't be the uh, the sniper. The 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 elf ranger in the tree taking out the enemy as they come by you're not legolas don't even try <laughs> what do your elf eyes see nothing because you're a cow <laughs> no i don't know that style of gameplay is just not fun in mmos i feel like mmos are fun because you have a team that you can play with and then utilize it just so happens that most people don't like to utilize the whole team aspect and see themselves as not a unit. That's one of the things that I feel like would be fun playing with Karu is because she'd be like a, the commander telling people, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this. Can you go do this for us? And then we'll meet up with you this other place. And then be like, all right, you got it. Go carry out my mission, meet up in the meet at the rendezvous point, and then we all go back into our mission standpoint. I feel like that's how it would probably go down. I don't know. That's my ideal sense of a MMO. 
it's not structured and it's no or there is no order in an MMO. It's just complete utter chaos. But still, I would like to imagine. MMOs are terrifying. Don't expect Yuma to play an MMO unless it's like an MMORPG. Maybe then I might be able to. But um the the just an MMO by itself. Eh, probably not. Nah, I don't think I could. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, don't 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 ever rush headlong into danger in anything actually honestly in any game that usually will just lead you to your own demise was watching um, Jacksepticeye play in Dark Souls because I've never played a Souls game either Really tempted to get a Souls game at this point because it looks like fun. It's like an RPG meets an MMO world that is open world, do your own thing, complete the story as you want, sort of a thing. But also, you can't change the difficulty rating, and it's on ungodly hard. So, I don't know. Souls games seem like they'd be fun as well, and um, it's enter they're entertaining. Each game has their own merits and their own entertainment source. MMOs are scary, Souls games are scary, but hey, I'd give them a try if I could ever learn how to actually play it properly. Um, but yes, I am, um, I, that's one of the other things too, is I don't see a lot of JRPG players. I see people who play Pokemon, I see people who, um, play Zelda. I need to implement watch time, I'm so sorry, I really do. Shower? I'll shower when I want to, probably lady. And followage, I know. I'm sorry, I haven't touched Nightbot in forever. He's lonely. <laughs> it's just like my father has abandoned me. My only job is to tell people to continue watching. <laughs> Follow and subscribe if you enjoy Yuma's content. Which right now is utter bullshit and nonsense and me just talking. Um, we will get back into gaming and stuff though. Um, my alarm interrupted me. They don't remember what I was saying. I followed you, uh, 140, 145 days ago? Wow! <laughs> That's impressive nonetheless, I'm gonna say that. Thank you, Nightbot. Um... Yeah, I need to, I need to update the Nightbot commands and stuff so you guys can see how long you've been following the channel. And then... Um, uh, what does watch time do? Is that the same as follow age or, or what? I don't know. I'm still baby of Twitch. I don't know what is going on. I got Twitch and then a month after I started streaming after doing my research. Yes, Fig was my research. <laughs> Fig and Mashiro were, were my research did. Uh, help me figure out how Twitch works. And then Shizu as well. Can't forget about Shizu. I need to go back over and watch Shizu streams too. Because Shizu usually starts streaming when I'm starting to get off of work. So it's easy to hop on and look at his and watch some of his streams. But it's been forever since I've gone over to anybody's streams. Tell the user how long they watched the user. Oh, okay. So how long they've watched the current video? Yes? I think is what that means. Oh, I was talking about JRPGs. That's what I was talking about. Um, I don't see a lot of people play other JRPG titles and whatnot. Like Zelda and Pokemon, yeah. But you don't see a lot of people playing SMT games and Persona games. Mainly because they're series that people don't talk about. So I want to eventually... I'm not being known as the big guy who plays JRPGs. But put a lot of JRPGs on here. Or, or over on my YouTube so people can watch those because JRPGs are fun. It's a, it's one of those niche things you don't see a lot of people doing. Like, I know there's a lot of people out there, but they're so like set on one certain JRPG. They don't branch out into a whole bunch of other ones. At least they don't talk about them a lot. I enjoy Pokemon. I enjoyed the Digimon series. I enjoy um, SMT. I've enjoyed some obscure titles as well. Have you guys heard of Contact? That's an old, DS game that is, it's not Souls-like, but it's kind of, 
I don't know. It's weird. Jizu is streaming right now. Sounds like a raid idea. Nudge, nudge. Maybe. Would that be a good idea to go and raid Shizu? I don't know. Maybe. That's not such a bad idea. wonder if he would mind. Probably not. I don't know. Um, we might do that, though. Because... I don't know. I ain't got anything else to talk about. And I wasn't going to start playing the game today, either. Just don't have the energy for it. I apologize. I smiling with my teeth, my nervous smile, but you guys can't see it because my tracking doesn't do that. Your choice? Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like I, like Shizu wouldn't mind if we raided him, so I think we might do that. And we might actually do that now because I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, but thank you all for coming back to Yuma Streams. I will do my best to be a lot more active. Um, stream wise i will do my best to be active on discord i know i say this all the time but it's not i don't use social media that much anymore i have nothing else uh, i have nothing else to talk me what is persona uh goes on five hour talk okay listen persona is really good and it's basically just adult pokemon in a sense, it's not, but I feel like you guys would enjoy Persona. At least Persona 5. Persona 5 is the one that got the big hype, because Persona 5 kind of bridged the gap between SMT and Persona series. We can get to that once Phantom and I um, link up and play P5. I don't know if he wants to fully play Royal with me or not, or if it'll just be like he'll pop in when he can. Because I really like Royal. And I, I think he really likes Royal, too. I think he said it was his favorite Persona game. But I really, really like it. And I would really like to play it for you guys. And get through it as quickly as I can. Because, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I don't know if I'll follow a complete guide once... We'll get there when we get there. But I have a guide for it that is able to 100% complete it. Else we can just do our best and hope that we actually beat the game. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's go... Raid Shizu. I ain't got anything else for you guys, but I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day. Say hi to say hi to emotional puppo for me. It's just Shizu, right? Yeah. <coughs> Alrighty. Say hi to Shizu for me. I am probably going to stick around for just a little bit, and then I got to go work on things. We won't have a stream tomorrow. I got D&D &D tomorrow, and we're probably going to go late, so I probably won't have any energy for it. But Wednesday, I will be doing my, um, we'll have a Scuffy stream. I have decided to name him Scuffy, and this is my Scuffy. And he will be up on screen while I have a muted stream while I'm working on things. Okay, I love you guys. Hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye bye